Good morning, everybody. This is Christy. I am the Intimate Warrior. I thank you so much for stopping by, and as always, I send you love. Today's video is going to be short, um, and it is about crosshairs. Ordinarily, when we are caught in the crosshairs, this is an expression that we have been caught red-handed, or that... Um, You are in danger, perhaps, because uh, oftentimes when we are using the crosshairs, we are, we can think of a hunter, um, a, hun a hunter who is aiming for a shot. Um, now, when you have, because this is something, of course, that took place last night for myself, I was seeing crosshairs with my eyes open yesterday, which is telling me that um, my vision is giving me that type of clarity. Our vision will always become enhanced as we move forward um, because we are upgrading internally our um, penal and pituitary gland, our inner vision. When our inner vision is enhanced, so will our physical vision be as well. Um, but keep in mind that even throughout our journey, as both inner and physical vision are being upgraded, there is still, may, you may still experience symptoms that may make you feel as if your vision is being compromised. And that is a, an easy fallback or a setback that, will, that can take place. And what I'm trying to say <laughs> terribly here this morning is that if you feel, of course, that your eyes or your vision or anything else in your life is being compromised. If you feel terrible and you actually feel as if something is wrong and you feel the need to seek medical assistance, that is your right to do so. I know from my own life that pattern of me seeking even a medical doctor's input has never worked out. And I received a comment on one of my videos that never showed up. Um, and if that ever happens, if you guys do make a comment on my video and I do not respond, please know that it's because I probably haven't seen it. I either didn't receive a notification about it or it has been dropped off of the algorithm of YouTube. Um, so please don't hold it against me. I do not avoid anybody on purpose. Um, so this one comment um, yesterday has not shown up, and I haven't checked as of t this morning anyway. And I know sometimes these messages will automatically reappear once the algorithm falls back to however they decide to make it anyway. Um, so the comment was that this individual has also experienced... Um, inconsistencies within the medical community or, um, you know, feeling ill and then the, the medical community not being able to find um, anything dramatically wrong. Um, so that has been my pattern almost all of my life. Um, even after my auto accident, me relying on the medical community, it just wasn't working out. So, of course, pills was the only um, solution for me back then. And I know I'm getting off a topic here. But if you feel the need to seek outside of you in the medical community, make sure that you have faith in the medical community. Otherwise, what you are doing is going to come back and... Um, add another negative thing into your life, okay? That's what I am trying to say here. 
Um, so our vision is, is going to be upgraded throughout our awakening process. Change within it may always and, and continuously take place. Um, mine took place early on in my process of my awareness, that is, um, to the point where the entire summer I could not see clearly. I was seeing through a bubble for the most part. We have blurred vision when we are being upgraded, you know, and this is all the changes in our hormones from within that is making us being going from a very dense physical form to a lighter spirit in human form. As you begin to realize that you are a spirit taking up a vessel, borrowing a vessel, the more that you have that realization and the more that it becomes true, you're going to have those periods of symptoms associated with it. And the symptoms are really here as our guidance, telling us you are doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. So really learn to, if you can, as best as you can, be okay with what you're going through. And I know it gets really difficult sometimes, especially if you are beginning or even in that up to the middle phases of your awakening process. If you're having a difficult time learning your lessons and in integrating the, the, the upgrades, then of course it's the pain associated with or the symptoms associated with it are, may be painful for you. If you develop a good relationship with your symptoms and your side effects, just like if you can develop a good relationship between food, the concept or the idea of pain, of that lacking, will move on. It doesn't mean you are not going to become affected. It doesn't mean it's not going to be difficult sometimes. It means you're going to find a different understanding, a different association, which is going to make it not seem as bad. Therefore, it can move on much quicker. But the more that we focus on pain, pain will grow. The more we focus on lacking, that lacking will, go, grow, will grow as well. So it's important for us to really develop our faith in all areas of our lives. And so when I was being shown these crosshairs in my vision, being able to see with my eyes open that I had these crosshairs available to me now, means that um, I'm at this point of being able to see exactly what needs to be seen. Whether it's good or bad, however we are, you know, seeing a situation. Um, it is being able to see beyond ordinary senses as well, because when we are looking through a microscope or a, excuse me, a, um, when we are looking through a gun scope is what I was trying to say there. Um, we are looking for a specific thing or we are trying to look for something and being able to see through that gun scope it is most definitely magnified to um, a vision where what we are looking at of course it seems as if it's much closer so we can get a better target or better understanding of what is there before us. Um, because really, you know, when you're looking through that gun scope, you have to one, use a, a, a rifle or a, a gun in general that is able to shoot the target to what it's aiming at. So it has to be very powerful. Um, in that type of context to be able to hit the target, which means the ability to also see 
a target before you with our vision here. And to find that type of understanding, to really get on that dot, get the crosshairs there, to focus. You have to really upgrade, or your inner vision has to be upgraded in order for your target, your understanding to be there. Now when we are thinking of, although when we are thinking of being able to understand more, and this has just hit me as I'm sitting here making this video. Understanding or knowledge of something doesn't spiritual understanding and spiritual knowledge comes from that higher power. Unless we are given deeper understanding of what is not ordinarily visible from source, there's no way that we are able to understand, take in that knowledge and transform it or use it to better see with our physical eyes. This knowledge to give you better understanding to see properly within your life comes from the voice, the throat. This is what I've already been talking about, I think up to a couple of weeks ago, maybe even a month back. Um, via the, and I, I've mentioned it many, many times, the Alta Major rests within the vocal cords of our throat, which upgrades not only um, our throat chakra, it's, it's actually a separate thing, yet unites. Just like our thymus gland, it's our sacred heart, yet it still becomes a part of our heart, if you will. It, it, it'll, it makes the heart become more expanded as a result. So it's the same kind of concept when it's the Alta Major sitting within the vocal cord. And now I know why last night, through this morning prior to waking up, there was a continuous flow of air moving through my my throat just this wisping sound of air coming through it all makes sense and this is a part of the tree of life this is a part of the tree of life that has been really left out um again it's like the the sacred heart that 13th connection, it hasn't always been available to people until we have began to expand, evolve, understand, and are ready for this type of connection that it is now being given. Um, that's the second um that I have rem <laughs> caught myself doing. So I've been wanting to talk about this because it's something that has taken place and has been given to myself. Um, and there's the third one. And of course that means others have tapped into this type of vibration as well to receive this type of upgrade. I, I, I almost said it there. Prior to me, um, truly receiving this this gift here of knowledge just like with major um, upgrades or initiations we will get to a level where initiations will come almost stacked on top of each other but there are certain initiations that require for you to apply for kind of you will either be asked to go through this initiation because they see that you are qualified already or you will have to fill out an application and that's something that I had to fill out I'm going to say two weeks ago uh, and 
apparently I had to put in all of my qualifications, what I truly felt I qualified for. And I guess this kind of linked to the video that I explained in it that I was applying for the job that I was not qualified for or that I didn't have knowledge about, but I knew that I could do this job because I had great confidence. I knew that I was going to be persistent in learning whatever it is that this job required me to know. And I wasn't going to settle for anything else. It was this or nothing else because I knew what I wanted. So I had to fill out an application a few weeks ago. Did I, do I know what I put on there? I don't. The application was given to me. I saw the application and I knew what it was about. The after fact, I don't know about. Apparently, I've qualified for it. Of course, if you are given the application, you are qualified. The application signifies your qualifications. Therefore, the blessings associated with that application or qualification. And I don't know. I mean, I've read about it from time to time where other, people's have, other people have received envelopes, um, invitations as well, um, applications I really haven't heard much about. But what I'm trying to say here and taking way too much time here is there's going to be a time in your process and it's always really, it's continuous where you are proving your own worthiness of what you want. We are always having to prove our worthiness. Do you know in your heart that you are worthy of what you're working towards? And then if you are, are you working towards it in your everyday life? If you are, then that means you know it. And if you aren't, if you are avoiding these lessons, if you are avoiding moving forward, if you are staying stuck in lessons, you really don't understand your worthiness of all of this. And that's the root of why you're holding yourself back on worthiness. And then now, now unworthiness needs to be clarified, removed, eliminated. Everything that exists, everything that you can think of in your mind and feel in your heart is already yours. And then more. But if you are unwilling to work towards what you are thinking about, envisioning, in some way, shape, or form, and sometimes it means giving up on that idea. Sometimes it means silencing your mind and your heart. The scenarios can be different from one idea to the next. Some ideas are going to require for you to actually move, pounce on it, to show that that is what you want. You know, and I'm going to take a simple idea here and use that as an explanation or an example. If I have an idea to post something on social media, and I think it is beautiful, I think it comes from a source, but I stop and think, people are going to think I'm crazy. No one's going to like this. I'm not going to get any likes on my post. I'm not showing faith, for one. I'm not using love, two. I'm not trusting in my path. I'm not trusting in my heart. <laughs> I don't feel worthy of anything that I already have. I'm my actions of lacking or not posting it, thinking of the future that I really 
am uncertain of or worried about, and I'm not staying present. I am dictating that I don't want my future. Something as simple as social media can be a big part of your lesson. And that is just something that I decided to use today as an example. So the examples are endless. Because I actually, a few days ago, yesterday maybe, that I really didn't want to post what I posted on my social media feed. And we'll also are going to get to a point, because I automatically ended up posting it, for one brief second I said, no, ugh. I was doubting myself. When you begin to truly work for a spirit, when you have a, a doubt or a fear that does arise, spirit is going to come and act and make that decision for you. And I know that by my posting, what I posted yesterday was the strength of spirit. It was not just myself. It was spirit moving for me and guiding me to make that post. And it's given me back more of my own internal power. So think about it. And um, I know I've kind of talked about a variety of things in this video today. But um, the main point of this video was the upgrade in vision. To be able to see clearer than ordinary eyesight is to actually be able to upgrade in your penile and pituitary gland connection your inner vision. Your inner vision must be upgraded in order for your outer vision to see clearly. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.